Today we got the 7.3 power truck behind me. We've got the 35 inch fuel Maverick tires on there. I'm gonna be telling you guys the main fuel differences between 33 inch tires and 35 inch tires. I installed these tires about two years ago. I've calculated out the fuel mileage on these guys perfectly. And I've also got the fuel mileage on the 33 inch tires as well. So stay tuned here. We're gonna hop on the road and I'm gonna be telling you guys the fuel mileage I get now with all the mods I have on it and everything. And then also what I would get with all the mods and everything with the 33 inch tires on. So let's hop on the road. It is hotter than Satan's sack today here in San Antonio, Texas. But we're gonna hop on the road for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you guys the fuel mileage I get now. I've already done a ton of videos on the fuel mileage on this guy, but I haven't really compared fuel mileage between 33 inch tires and 35 inch tires difference. I've been getting a ton of comments too, like on TikTok, on YouTube, saying, oh man, I, get, I run 35s and I get 17 miles to the gallon, no sweat. Well, yeah, they probably have to have a ton of engine mods done to that to get that kind of fuel mileage. Uh, all I have done to mine is a hydro chip tuner and a cold air intake. I've seen about a two mile per gallon increase, those two little deals there. So for those of the comments that are running 35s and getting 17 miles to the gallon, don't just say brag about your 17 miles to the gallon, say how you're getting 17 miles to the gallon, share the love down there below because good Lord, I can't even get above 12 and a half with this guy. I mean, I put a hydro chip tuner on it. Maybe new injectors will help, maybe a new fuel pump. I'm not too sure. Also guys, got these hats as well. Link will be in the, down in the description down below if you guys wanna pick them up. And I also bought a 7.3 bag. I'll put up a picture of what the 7.3 badge looks like. Blacked out 7.3 badge. I'm installing that for you guys. Then on June 14th, that's when it comes in. I actually bought it, it's already purchased. Back on the regular scheduled program here, I installed a cold air intake and a hydro chip tuner. Those are the only main two things that I have on my truck. Two kind of increased it by, uh, you could say 2.5 miles to the gallon. Majority of the time, it's just gonna be your foot that's gonna really give you the, the majority of the miles per gallon. When I was, I have a bunch of videos when I was running my 33 inch tires, guys. I did actually have a whole entire video burning them out and blowing them up on the channel. If you guys wanna check out that video, it's on the channel, so just scroll down and find it. I did have 33 inch tires on this thing before when I got it handed down to me. When I was running that, guys, I was getting easily probably 15 to 16 to the miles to the gallon, and that's when I was really running good. So those are the guys that have 35 inch tires and they're getting 15 to 16 miles the gallon. Absolutely insane perks to you. Um, but for me right now, I get about 12.5 miles the gallon with 35s on there. 33s, I got about 15. With the, these, I get 12.5. Now the reason guys that I get less fuel mileage with the 35 inch tires is pretty much common sense. I'm slinging more weight around. So obviously the 35 inch tires are two times heavier than the 33 inch tires. So that means I'm gonna have to build up a lot more boost and a lot more torque in order to turn these tires, which means I'm gonna need a lot more fuel. I do recommend running 35 inch tires. That being said though, the 35 inch tires can cause a little bit more wear and tear on your transmission, on your drive shaft, everything like that, because you're slinging a lot more weight around instead of just 33 inch tires. But the main problem that I saw with 35 inch tires, now don't get me wrong guys, the 35 inch tires look great. I love the look of them. And I mean, personally, great for YouTube and stuff like that. And eye candy and stuff like that. You guys, if you're gonna run 35 inch tires, you better have the pocket to back it because if you ain't got that money to back your fuel for these 35 inch tires, you are gonna be paying big time. I mean, I probably spent double the amount of fuel I would if I would've just kept my 30, if I would've just kept my 33s, I bet I probably paid twice as much in fuel. Definitely recommend the 35s, but it comes with a price, of course, and they're gonna be a whole, hell of a lot more expensive to buy new ones. So I think guys, once these 35 inch tires that I have on my truck right now, once they go completely bald, I'm gonna actually go and put the 33 inch tires and rims, stock rims, on this truck so we can get better fuel mileage and I can also make some videos for y'all kind of getting a real good comparison difference. Alrighty guys, so we're back at the crib here and we got the 7.3 behind me here and I just looting out this video, we basically just talked about uh, the 35 inch versus the 33 inch tires once again. I'm gonna be doing some install videos for y'all as well. Um, stay tuned, I also have that five inch MBRP back piping system in the works, guys. Don't think I forgot about that. I'm still gonna try to do that and the injectors on the 7.3 power stroke. So make sure you guys subscribe down below watch more 7.3 content, and uh, yeah, if you guys wanna watch more videos, wanna be up here or down there, peace out, fellas.